There's this company called Hero, which is an, an app. I actually didn't even realize they were like a, a company that had a real app, but they came up with an SDK, an open source SDK that is kind of like rethinking how users interact within a, like a, a chatbot. So you're, they have this example, you're booking a flight. So basically as you are typing in, you say book a flight, instead of you having to type everything else out, it does start to infer what you want to do and give you just a superpower UI for it. So I'm always like, you know, flight from exactly, right flight from NYC mm -hmm. to SFO, you, you know you're gonna eventually have to fill in the blanks. When are you going? Do you want nonstop? How much do you wanna pay? So this is predicting it for some of these straightforward flows and allowing you to kind of put these um, UIs in place. Super, super elegant. I think they did a fantastic job. Um, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's like the Slack was built as an internal tool for <laughs> yeah, talking yeah. within a computer game company that became the main company. So yeah. you know, maybe they've they've scratched the surface on a hard enough pain point that, that everyone who's developing a text prompt style um, front ends. So they it made sense. They released it as an SDK. We'll see how much usage it gets. The one that they thought it was really cool for is like, well, what if you have a really small screen like in AR where you actually can't have as much screen space and so this whole idea is like actually you could do this really simply maybe there's hand gesture that goes with it so i don't know how far it's like extendable to many types of like form filling out or autocomplete obviously the use cases that they're sharing make so much sense and i think a lot of people will be following it what's interesting is we're still in a place in ai where we're trying to find the right form factor for interacting 